Hey guys, Yuri back with you with another episode of Ask Yuri. Today I've got a great question I'm going to be answering. Uh, this is all about creatine. Here's the question. Uh, Yuri, is creatine good for your body? I hear it helps you lift more. But some people say that there are instant side effects like back acne and long-term ones like kidney or, li or liver damage. Uh, it would be helpful for some expert advice on this before I accidentally put my body into a bad health environment. Um, yeah, uh, this is one of my YouTube viewers, no name was given. But here's the answer. Uh, creatine is a performance enhancing uh, natural substance, right? It's naturally produced in the body. And the muscles use creatine or phospho creatine in the body as a source of quick instant fuel. So for instance, if you were to jump or throw a ball, the fuel source for that energy would predominantly be coming from uh, phospho creatine. Now, when you take creatine as a supplement, what essentially you're doing <clears throat> is elevating your creatine stores within your muscles. So this has a number of potential benefits depending on your outcome that you're looking to achieve. For instance, if you can elevate your creatine stores, you will more, your, your body is going to be able to recover quicker and then repeat a similar bout of exercise without fatigue uh, as easily. So for instance, a very, uh, a very simple example would be uh, wind sprints or suicides. Imagine doing suicides, you know, one of the tests we do with um, the soccer team at U of T is we have to do a 25 yard shuttle run, which is basically goal line to five, five yards and back, goal line to 10 yards and back, 15 back, 20 back, 25 back, under 30 seconds. They then rest 30 seconds and repeat that again. They do that sequence five times and it's a very grueling test because it breaks down uh, your creatine stores within your muscles and produces a lot of lactic acid. Now, in that kind of test, creatine would be hugely beneficial because if you can elevate your stores of creatine to begin with, you're gonna recover much quicker during those short recovery bouts and allow yourself to perform better. That's why in certain sports, creatine has, uh, has a benefit. However, when it comes to lifting, a lot of people use creatine because they wanna lift more and gain size. You have to realize this. Creatine will help you lift more. And this is from my own experience. Uh, I've used it, I used it a little bit while I was playing soccer way back in the day and I found that it did help me uh, improve my strength, right? Because again, as I just mentioned, I, I'm getting uh, the basic fuel sources for these quick bouts of lifting or, or sprint type of exercise were being benefited by creatine. Now, there's a lot of variation between what's good sources of creatine and bad sources and expensive ones versus ones that don't work. So you really have to do your research and I can't really recommend anything because I don't use it anymore and I haven't used it for about 10 years. And the reason for that is because I don't believe that 99% of the population needs to be using creatine. And in fact, most athletes, most sports, whether they're amateur or professional, don't even allow creatine anymore anyways. So you have to realize this, when you take creatine, yes, you will put on size because creatine will absorb water into the muscles. When I took creatine, I probably put on 10 pounds easily in a week and a half. And believe me, I had this, you know, like the, the plump arms and the muscles, you know, all ballooned out. And was, I mean, you know, obviously physically it's nice, but as soon as you stop taking creatine, that goes away. So it's not a long-term benefit if you're looking to put on 10 pounds or 15 pounds of muscle mass and you're taking creatine, as soon as you lose, or if you get off that creatine, you're gonna lose that, you're gonna lose that size. Uh, the benefit of using creatine is that you're able to lift more, which will help you get stronger and slowly but surely build a little bit more muscle mass over time. So, you know, there is some benefit, but I don't believe, you know, I, I don't think you need creatine. I mean, like, again, unless you're, I think personally the only sports that would benefit from creatine are uh, football players, hockey players, um, you know, shot put, power lifters, that kind of stuff. But, you know, even then, they don't really need it. And the majority of the population, everyday exercisers like you and me, we don't need it at all, okay? Um, if you are taking creatine, basically how you wanna load it is you're gonna go through a, a loading phase and then a maintenance phase. The loading phase, most creatines are looking at about anywhere from about 15 to 25 grams per day for about a week. And then you would go down to a maintenance phase, which is about five grams of creatine per day uh, for the next two or three weeks. Now the important thing is if you are taking creatine, you wanna cycle it. So you'd go on it for about three or four weeks, take a week and a half or so off, and then go back into your maintenance phase 
and then continue doing that. Otherwise, your muscles will get used to it. Final thing I want to mention about creatine, and obviously I, I've done a lot of research on this and I wrote papers on it in university, so I'm pretty well versed on it, I think, is it resp people respond differently to it, okay? So if you, if you naturally have higher stores of creatine in your muscles to begin with, you will not respond well to creatine. There will be very little benefit. However, if you're someone like me who has very uh, low creatine stores in their muscles to begin with, taking creatine will make a big difference. Okay? So you have to realize that as well. Some people respond better than others. And in terms of side effects, the real side effects that, <clears throat> that I've noticed personally and from the research is that you get some gastric distress, you know, a little bit of gurgling and stuff down there, maybe some gas, some indigestion. Um, Long-term studies really haven't shown much yet. Again, you know, I'm not too sure if there's liver or kidney damage associated with it. But at the end of the day, the, the thing is you don't need it. Okay? It's not essential. It's a quick fix thing that's not sustainable, that's not long-lasting. And um, there you go. So hopefully that's, that's answered your question and thank you very much for asking that because I think a lot of people have that question and, um, and now you know. So thanks again for watching. I'm Uriel Kame and be sure to join me on Facebook every day for my Ask Uriel Live questions. Uh, the website or you know my page on Facebook, if you will, is right here. UrielKame.com forward slash Facebook. I'll see you there.